a lot of you guys here in, on this table are minorities. How does that play into being a minority and being gay? I live in West Hollywood. So in that sense, I don't necessarily notice a disconnect between my social life and my work life and the possibilities of not feeling like I'm connected to a community in my everyday environment. Mm -hmm. But I do know that on a regular basis, who I am is not only uh, looked down upon by other black folks at times, but also there's a stereotype that I'm that I have to live with on a daily basis that other that other gay gay men that are not of color, which what I is, hate, which, <laughs> which, is, which is like you know like a, a terrible term because everybody's of color. What are you talking way, but, about? Um, you know, there's um, just the stereotypes about well, not only putting aside the sexuality aspect of it, right. um, but also talking about you know um, what's a safe space um, for for men that are not white gay men. Um, okay. Are we safe in those spaces where others um, feel completely comfortable? Um, I don't think that that's necessarily something that we always talk about, um, but we do need to talk about it as a community because ultimately our stories depend, our lives depend on each other. Mm -hmm. And we're not, we're not acknowledging the fact that in order for us to, to thrive as, 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 as gay men, we all, we, we can't, we can't hold back from each other. We, ha we have to actually be able to talk with each other and move forward together, and I think that that's what we're missing at times. Well, I think what you're speaking on is we know that minorities are at a higher risk, and we know that a large part of that is those minorities don't have a larger conversation and acceptance of gay uh, people in the community, exactly. right? Exactly. It's, it's hard not to be a black man in the world today, let alone mm -hmm. be a gay black man. Right. So then you add all those different layers to it. So I think that we just need to learn to accept that part first, right? And then the race card I might, is not such a big issue. You know, the, the, it, it's difficult being a gay black man. I mean, if you just look at the you CD. You would know. <laughs> 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 yes. But, but if you look, you know, the CDC has released this study recently, right? Where if you're a black gay man, you're 50% you're likely to become HIV positive. So imagine of all the pool was Hollywood, right? If you know that you're 50% you're, you're likely you're gonna be HIV positive. Mm -hmm. It is a proven statistical, CDC came out and said it. And if you're Latino, you're 25%. So even, even put that on top of everything else they're going through, right. and we're going through as Latino men, it's a lot. Yeah. And, and financial, and, but then I also don't wanna turn back our, our backs to, to our white friends, you know, because it's not, it's not, a, it's not about them either. It's I mean, just essentially everyone here is a minority. Right. It's just, you know, what yeah, it is. But so. the question so. is also, why are we more likely to become HIV right. positive? It's not accepted as much in the cultural stuff. Right. right, but at that said though, I, my, I grew up in a family that's largely, you know, back at home full of like pastors uh, and folks that love me for who I am. Black in the military, trying to go out.